Happy New Year! Was I loud enough for you? No, all years. Was I loud enough? Since you're spirit the director, producer, you tell me how to run the, run the show? No, fix your hat. Okay, mm -hmm. Anyhow, guys, all the best for the Happy New Year, which will be starting at midnight tonight. I wish you guys all the best. Let me let me take something. Well, let me get a soupy soupy there quick. Yes, sir. Uh, on the New Year's or all year's night, no? Diana got cooked and cooked up rice. So today I'm joined here with screenwriter, director, producer, and we're trying to pull off something epic. Hopefully it's not a fail. But before we get into what we're doing, let's take a drink. Cheers, guys. All the best. So first and foremost, but before um, we get into anything, I want to say to thank you quickly. And I'm privileged. Well, the first thank you, I'm sending out to the mind you again. Mr. D. Bodan, I just call him Mr. D. Bodan. Uh, happy birthday, Uncle James. Happy birthday, Auntie Jenny, or Pops and our Mama. Um, I, tr I trust that you guys had a super holiday, everybody. And I hope you spend your time uh, well. Um, I would like to uh, send a happy new year shout out to Akash, Devi, and Avi Ave Sharma. Hi guys, happy 2023. These, these guys are from Queens, New York. Uh, happy New Year's to you guys. All right, cheers again once more. Akash, Devi, Avish Sharma. All right, guys, take a big up in Queens, New York. Um, another person I really want to say uh, thank you to. Look, look here. Let me just show you. How to get more scotch for the holiday. Look, the man you get passed. The man is a gem of a guy, man. Look, Johnny Walker. Thank you. Look, we add it here. Again, we got everything pack out here because we, we brawling tonight. So thank you, Mr. Yogin. And once more, there's this other person. So I want to pick up uh, Miss Vanessa Lachman and her husband, Lionel Lachman. So these people are called uh, Taste Setter Brand and Products. So they have a, a huge variety of stuff. I want to show you guys this package that these people sent for me. Look, Vanessa, take a big up. Look this thing size. Look this thing size by we're gonna we're gonna open this tomorrow when we go to nanny house and we're gonna go through what is in this thing because we are doing cook up rice let me tell you this this part for tonight we're doing cook up rice with um uh, this is called butterfish and in our cook up rice we are also doing mutton mutton cook up rice we're doing with fried fish all right guys so I want to thank uh, Vanessa Latchman and her husband Lionel Latchman for this beautiful package. That's not all. Look, they even gave me this nice board to hang up in the house. All right, guys. You go open the board. And they give me an envelope and no money day in here. All right, guys. <laughs> so thank you so much for the package. We're gonna scrutinize this tomorrow when we go to Nanny House because we're not doing Korean. And I'm sure I see physically there's lots of stuff um, that is meant to cook curry here. All right. So tomorrow we go to Nanny House to cook this stuff. We're gonna use everything from taste setters. All right, all the product that we need to cook this dough curry, we're gonna use it as is. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do the honors of opening the board, and we're gonna put it in our kitchen. It's such a beautiful board. By a little goes a long way. This is not a little. This is a lot. All right. Look at this thing. This thing is so beautiful. We're gonna re leave it right here. And the black, the black just suits the kitchen. All right, let me see what money they put in this envelope. Oh, I see saying you as the, you're gonna, let's read the card, let's read the card one time. Peace, happy holiday, let us rejoice in the spirit of giving. Yep, thank you. Special holiday greetings from the management and staff of Taste Set the Brands product. A very Merry Christmas to, you, to the Tuku family, wishing you all a blissful one this year. And always, wishing you all a blissful one this year and always that is what the person is saying right from the taste of the family we enjoy watching your channel great keep cooking lots of laughter cheers guys all right so that's from the um latchman family vanessa and lionel thank you so much so yes as i was saying guys we are doing cook up rice with mutton in the backyard on the fire side yes this hour of the night 8 30. um so we're, we're going to illustrate some of it when we get downstairs, but we want to season the fish and we want to pressure the mutton a little bit. So let me, let me, let me hit this fish a little bit, right? Why the reason you're pressing the mutton? The mutton, we hear what? We're cooking, we're cooking white rice, cook up rice. So 
we cut the pressure this month, let me upstairs on the pressure pot and take it downstairs and add it into the um cook up rice. So let me show you quickly what we got. We got some 592 flavors green seasoning. This is uh kind compliments of my friend Melissa. Yeah, I'll try the thing right. This is a really really good green seasoning that I have from these people lately. I have some MSG fish seasoning. We got some imported ginger straight from Louisiana. <laughs> um, straight from the garden. We got fish season, right? It doesn't matter which fish season you use. Um, but Chef is the one that we always try to incorporate in our cooking most of the time. And we got with fresh, fresh butterfish, right? So we got this already washed, right? Yeah, like we wash it and we, we lemon juice it out. First thing we got, we gonna hit it with some MSG. I'm afraid we use the MSG, man. Not gonna do we ever throw so much Just fun. Relax, don't fight with the MSG. <laughs> Fish season. We're gonna hit it with a half pack. And all who said they don't cook with the MSG. Half pack fish season. This uh all these seasoning and pack seasoning and MSG. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Not too much ginger, you know, one spell it up. Green season, you, you can never put too much in fish. So you put some green season inside. Yeah, my man pork fine leaf thyme. Yeah, this is my man pork fine leaf thyme, broad leaf thyme, shallot, celery, the whole works. And then we can hit it with the onion and garlic paste. And then we can go hands in. The girl also, um, five nine to the girl, the seasoning, all send us on grind onion and garlic, but yeah. they use out. Yeah, this, this brand, this, this local business, we're gonna we're gonna cook a day with all their product too. You can get Melissa on a, a contact number. Let's see, telephone six two eight nine eight eight zero. But this this brand is a very good brand too, guys. And so you we, have achar and everything, you know, pepper. Here, here this laughing story, guys. Don't don't find me racial or racist or anything. So it's it's an African girl, right? So she they they doing the achar. So the day when they girl, oh, we mix well, right, guys? So they did no salt because the pack season have salt. So you don't need to put salt inside. So the day when I when I eat in the achar, I jump on the phone and I call them. I say, man, who make this achar? So so the girl Melissa, she's of African descent. She said, will we make it? I said, man, I lie, y'all make it. There's some old coolie lady make this achar. She said, no, is we make this achar. So I was shocked with the taste of the achar. It was really really good. Y'all try this achar. Try this this brand achar, guys, and let me know back we outing. So you let it soak. Yes, yeah, so guys, this is it here, right? We're gonna let this fish sit in here and marinate. You see how the green seeds look on it there? We're gonna dust it with a little bit of flour in little black pepper. And we're gonna fry this down. Stays in the kind of Sahari, right? So we're doing fried fish, white rice, cook up rice with the mutton inside. Alright, so this is gonna sit a bit. So quickly we're gonna fresh out the mutton. We, we hit a little bit green seasoning, not too much because this guy will to cook up. Garlic and onion, sorry. Hit it with some garlic and onion paste. Uh, MSG. Salt. Um, a pinch of ginger. And some more of this green seasoning. That's about it. Give it a little okay for. I'm going to start as well. Remember this pre-cooking, right? Yeah, we pre-cooking. This is not the, the final cooking. So this is, we're going to pre-cook this quick. So I lose all the wrong water and get the meat a little soft. Yeah. Because it's going in the cooker price. We don't want to have a pack seasoning inside. No, no, no. You don't want to have a pack seasoning. So we're going to hit this in the pressure pot. Let it steam out. And we're going to go down and light up the fire side. Right, guys? So this is what it looks right here as it is. And we pressure pot. So we put that we, we put a little pressure pot there. And we here what happened? We not throw none oil in this thing. This this mutton got fat. So we want this thing cook itself. So the, the, the pressure pot was a bit uh preheated. Uh we put the mutton inside. My boy uh Yogan, Mr. Bodan, he was telling me to do this cook up with uh sheep belly, but the sheep belly was unavailable, so I couldn't get it. So you throw down your pressure pot there, guys, and you quick turn. They're gonna lose it fat. I gonna lose it on water and it on fat. 
Ah, uh, the egg on. Ah, uh, go down a bit. Meantime, our um, mutton is steaming now. Pressure is being covered yet. We want it boiling a little bit, then we're going to cover it. We're going to prepare some a quick salad to eat this cook up rice. So we hit it with half onion, red onion. You got to get things to complement this cook up rice. We actually were going to fry rice right plant and just go with cook up rice. We are not fry the rice right plant and eat the most. So we cut the onion around. So we're going to cook cucumber. We're doing some with cucumber, onion, and cabbage. We're keeping it uh, simple, simple salad. It's a nice sharp bite. Oh, cucumber bite. I don't think there's like a seed inside. That's where you pick, you pick out cucumber. Try to pick out the smallest cucumber in the lot. The big one is uh, uh, fuller or closer, right? This is young. This is going to eat crunchy, crunchy. Crunch, crunch. You're going to put that with pressure pot cover now. So we uh, sit down a bit. So we got onions, we got cucumber, and we got beat up cabbage. We keep the salad very simple. We don't want to do too much because we didn't have a lot of person invited. And we don't want too much to waste. But this can always go in the refrigerator that whatever left back. But tomorrow holiday too. Yeah. But it is not holiday, but tomorrow we never cook, you know. And then Monday's holiday again. And then Monday's holiday again. So you got food in the fridge for the whole week. It's very sharp. So guys, we already finished cutting up our cabbage. Put the cabbage in the bowl. Up to your gloves, boy. I can't have four gloves, eh? <laughs> Back some suki suki. Tell the people I'm also comment in the comment. We'll have to your gloves, boy. So we got it. A uh, nice cut up cabbage. You go hit it with the onion now. It's a fast salad, babe. Yeah, I'll enjoy this. Then we hit it with cucumbers. Pinch of salt. And you hit it with a Hit it with a pinch of vinegar. Whoops! Oh, you don't get pinched already. Don't get more pinch a pinch of vinegar, and you toss your salad. Add a little more salt. Yeah. We're gonna toss our salad here. I got salad spoon, you know. I made that too far. Then a better. So this is our simple salad guys, right? So you go to go here with salad, mutton and we're going on going downstairs, light up with fire side, pre prep with stuff, take a nice cold suki suki and hope New Year's retreat greet you with a whole plate of cook-up rice and a cold suki suki. Guys, after not too lengthy deliberation, this is what we mutton look like. This is what it look like after pressuring, right? We outside now, I'm gonna illustrate what what we have here. But we're gonna like this fire side first. Maybe I'll be by here. See, now I have a camp order still. You know, what do you think? You know, New Year's, new things, right? New things. I like you like the in my head back. Finally. One month after the fire light. Mm -hmm. Come, come, have a have a hungry here. Super bite. <laughs> so basically here, this is what we're going tonight. So we, we fish on satay and you marinate. We done pre-cook some beans, coconut fresh, uh, coconut done grit and squeeze out white rice we're doing tonight guys. So this gonna take not too long to cook. I'll grind up garlic and onion paste, red pepper. Um, we got two cubes. This is Chinese spice, cup season, uh, great ginger. Pepper, onion, shallot, carrot, this beautiful uh, poi bhaji, beautiful. Salt, MSG, pit bull green seasoning. Uh, we got some kias rip. We got some butter to patch away rice. We got we mutton here, all right? So we're gonna pre-prep a bit. So all this pepper, we're gonna try to put this a bit late. And carrot.
we're gonna prep prep. So we dicing up the carrot. Hey. We gotta hide the scarf on the kids and I like eat carrot. So it's a simple method to cook, cook up rice, but it's a bit unique at the same time because um you see the lender we go, we use a lot of additional season and so on. What do you expect for the New Year's? No taxi walk. Next. So go up to Imran. We met a guy from Canada by the name of Imran. I was his wife name again? I can't remember, oh man. Getting old, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm getting old. Forgetting things. How are you looking there with the carrots? Almost finished with the carrot. Knife nice trap, I gotta be very careful. I'm going to fry side, you're going to cut on too fat, you're going to cut on too fat, fat. We got a baby in the air. I'm going to show you a trick how to patch out this rice, guys. The onion. Have you cut your hand? No. Oh, come and check, you see, you check your finger there. <laughs> We chip and chop the onions, the purple onion, as prefer. And these bad boys are my favorite. Look at Oreo freaking them uh, fireworks. I'm gonna boss these up a bit too. Some big bajji. Yeah, nice bajji. We have a good bajji, we have a rice. You gotta try it, guys. Some people put ed leaf, we put ed leaf also. Yeah, you but can put ed leaf too, but it's your choice, how you want. So, guys, you see, we don't cut up the baji here, and we onion, we shallow, we carrot, pepper on standby, and hurry on time. Preheat the canary, wash up my hand back, and the wood. Oh. Yeah, we're washing up this rice, you know. So, what do you want for the New Year's, babe? Me? Mm -hmm. I'm baby. Don't get up for the New Year's. Again, huh? <laughs> forget, forget. Canary hat there. We wash your rice. We pot the canary. So, what are you doing here? We pot the rice. So, you can cook like fried rice. Hello, we see. Yes. Yes, boss. Yeah, right. yeah, just on the final like by this one it's forever for life. The first step you do, but take canary. Let them melt out. Let me move on. Canary butter up and the canary uh, butter hot. White rice in. Right in. Spin. Spin with the butter a little bit. Onion paste, garlic paste in. Onion paste, garlic paste in. That was spin quick. You gotta keep your hand active because you don't want the paste on and the rice turn popcorn. Then in. Yeah, it's ripped in. Yeah, it's ripped in. It's just in again. We part the rice with the green seasoning. The piaz rip, the onion and garlic. He does not hold on there, you got spin. Our cook up rice seasoning in, everything. Cook up rice seasoning in. The whole pack. The whole pack, right? Two cube. Coconut. Ready? Yeah. Huh? Coconut milk in. We have to hurry coconut milk in there because you know not you nice space and we got plenty of fire there. Plus we're gonna be a cry here with the smoke. Good. 
look good there. Right? Yeah, don't look good there. Ready? So we two cube by two cube one chicken one other cube in tomato tomato cube. Um, Chinese spice average amount of Chinese spice in. Let me hit it this and grind up ginger. Not too much ginger. Ginger in. Oh, the red pepper, paprika, in. Mm -hmm. Give it a nice little stir. Remember, we got any black eye, we mutton, everything else. I mean, I put it in any other seasoning with them thing, right? Don't forget the MSG. MSG in. Of course, you got your poi, red onion, shallot. Everything in. We got this white rice here. Yeah, add yeah you got add already. everything now because you cannot wait. The white rice cook up right. Look, fire by. Not fire by. So we gonna go easy on the red beans because it's two pint. You can see how much to go. That's about it. Give it a bit more. We add in salt because we pressure the peas with salt. Give it a spin. Up looking I read it by look over in our hey wah. so we add the carrots and we pepper for steam this can I go full up by and we add the mutton by the pre-cooked mutton with a little of the uh, fat in there oh man oh man oh man are you torn the mutton look too little bit for this thing but maybe it's not put so much You fry the fish on top. Yeah, we can fry fish. We got the fish marinated. We're gonna let this boil. Good. So we're gonna let it sit, guys. Let it pile up. We can take down. Are we gonna take a sip of suki suki now, by? I hope our uh, cook up right tastes well. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Look at that mutton cook up rice there, boy. Mm. So we're going to texture down white rice cook up rice with mutton. And I'm here to wash this kind of curry. Carrying the fish up, seriously, so fry quickly. And we're going to devour this bad boy. I hope you guys are having a wonderful New Year's. So this is the last project, boy. We came up, seriously, quickly. We got time with Isla. Fish marinade for quite some time. So we're going to butter up slightly in some flour maybe with a, a pinch of red pepper we're gonna put a pinch of red pepper in this pinch of red pepper and that's the beautiful white rice mutton cocoa rice with enough pepper inside boys so we're gonna dust you off we bang uh sorry butter fish and we drop you in a, a thin flour here and straight in the aisle I, I, I don't know what's going on with me lately but I use in the word oh man oh man oh man lately it's such an exciting word to use oh man oh man oh man you see not too much flour man you know what flour fish this is gonna hold the fish together from falling apart yeah from falling apart and we got the aisle on low not too high almost 12 babe almost 12 happy new year oh, we're not 11 yet Ariana got married next year and dirty. I'm ready here, eh, boy. We put it on the skin side. Wow. You don't want to put too much inside. So you want to break up. Three at a time. This is cool. This is how it's looking. You think you want to flip now, babe? Now what? You think you want to flip it now? Yes, I'm gonna flip it now. I think it's ready to flip. Okay. Oh man, oh man, oh man. You gotta stop it and I mean like that. Oh like man, it? oh man, oh man. It's such an exciting word. Take a time there. This is not plenty green seeds inside. Whoops, it wasn't right to flip. Then I did it. No, let it, let it. Then this is gonna wait. Then this can't wait for fish. 
So this is a new year crew here, guys. This one got the cook up already. How is it? Okay. You, you, you want the piece of fish? Mom, how do white rice cook up for a change? Good. It is good. Mm. It look good. Back here, dark rain falling. Yeah. Oh my God, we get to rain. So this is the backyard setup for the New Year's party, guys. We can come and we can drink some beer at the back here just now. And we hope Amaya eat all she food. Right, Amaya? She hungry. She hungry. How we first look at the screen right there, the producer? Yeah, right. All right. Yeah. A little bit more in there. What do you want for New Year's? Me? Check out my dress, boy. Nothing. Like you're going out mantra later? Yeah. You got mantra? What fish we got for out here, Papa? Chef, honest note. How was your food? Be honest tonight. How was your father cooking? You're good? You're sure you lie? But good. He lie sure. He got some stocks here for the rice tonight, but I know how we gonna go. For set out the pan straight in the mouth. I wanna put it in the mouth. Let me see if it was a waste of time really man. What too cool really see this cook in this place here. Mmm. Smoking hot. Hey, I need this fish. Mama, I need this fish. It tastes nice, man. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Half a part of my mouth. This fish flat. I need this fish. Shave, I need this fish, son. I left back out. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Look at this. I was saying you can taste the ginger. Oh, this is some good fried fish. Simple, easy. I must try guys. So I'm gonna put together my stuff just now. We're gonna do a grand taste test. And we're gonna wish each other happy in your rear, drink a suki suki and conclude our beautiful video today. Oh man, oh man, oh man. After not too lengthy deliberation, food is ready. If you can look, everything is smoking hot. Look at the fish, man. This is my plate in eventuality. Happy New Year's, guys. It's still all year. Mm -hmm. I'm a little a drippy. I don't taste this. This, this, this bad boy here, boy. Ocean of onion is my thing. I'm going to taste it with some onions. Mmm. So the, the cock up rice is off the hook. The only thing that Tuku think he missed from the trick is okra, but mama don't want okra. Mmm, so good. Look, look at the mutton. Maybe we pre cook the mutton. Look at the mutton but, uh, break. Easy. Look at the meat. Nice. Mmm. Beautiful. So the cook up is good. The mutton is well cooked. I can taste the poi too. Mmm. Shiny now. And of course the fish is already good. I had a taste test of this earlier. So, in conclusion guys, thank you for taking the trip along with me. You learn how to cook white rice, cook up a mutton today. You learn how to fry a proper fish. I'm gonna indulge in this. You guys take care. Peace out. Happy New Year's. Thank you once more for all the support. All the likes, all the hate, all the negativity. It's changed from the same man. Join us for another episode of Little Ghana by Two Poon and Family. Put up! I hate when you do it, you know. When you go, like Mark Queens. <laughs> The food all right? Hmm? The food is good? Yeah, yeah, it's excellent, man. I mean, the white rice part was not a, a fun fact, but it's okay, I like it. <laughs>